Hello there everyone, how are we all doing? Um, this is Kez from Camberwell. Currently uh, of my, my habitat is in Camberwell. I'm still in King's College Hospital. And I thought that what I'd do um, with this vlog is introduce you to the confines of my incarceration, my solitary confinement place. Um, so, it's a tiny wee room that I'm in, um, but it's okay because, you know, behind me, as you can see, I've got the television, got, you know, free view TV, and there's me chariot to get me about, and then shower and toilet over there. Lovely bed, which I make up myself each day. I make it each day and make a mess. <laughs> uh, all my tablets I've been sorting out. And this lovely picture that you can stare at and escape from. Um, and also there's a fridge um, that all these rooms have. Um, so you can put in some decent food rather than just all the hospital food. So that's that's what oh and one more one more important thing there's a whiteboard and I it's it's obviously for them to communicate they don't use it very much but I also use it to put on a positive message each day as well So they have life as a hematology patient when you're stuck in these rooms and it's it's challenging because you know prisoners get loud out of their room once a day but because of the shielding and covid i'm not allowed out and i can have no visitors and that's quite hard going really unfortunately um but i've said this so many times before we can't stop what happens to us in life but we can try and keep a check on our attitude um, to what's going on. I'm just going to put you down a minute so I've got free hand to take my tablets. Um, and this week has been awful. My lovely, um, quiet and humble uncle richard died last week and his wife my beautiful and elegant um, aunt dorothy died yesterday and my heart just goes out to my cousin and covid is just is robbing so not just taking us of that generation and others um but we're being robbed of the chance to say goodbye. I feel so frustrated being stuck in this hospital room instead of being with my family at this time. Um, but many of you I, I know must be in the same boat. Look, here I've got this handful of tablets and one of the things I find is the best to do is to take them all at once because there's actually 15 tablets in my hand and if I took them all individually, it'd take me a long time. Whereas, because they're all little, I just shove them in. All gone. Um, and now I've just got to deal with the rest of them later yeah so i i do i feel i feel frustrated i feel useless and i know i'm not you know it's a it's a head and heart thing but i want to be able to honor my aunt dorothy she she's always been my favorite aunt she was always so kind to me as a child uncle richard showed me that you didn't have to be loud and obnoxious to be a man, that you could be quiet and unassuming and, and still be a really good fella. 
and he showed me a different way of being a man and I will forever be grateful to the two of them for the love that they showed me over the years. But in the meantime, I need to keep going and get through this frustrating time. And I am really frustrated um, because so many of the tests that my team want to do can't be done because of COVID. And like I say, I understand that, but also, unfortunately, life goes on as well. So I need to have this nuclear medicine scan. They're gonna try and book that in they were meant to be put in a peg in my arm, which is a, a one of these permanent dwellings that you know that that stays it stays in all the time. Um, but then when they came and got me, were, were about to come and get me for that this morning, there was a phone call saying, "No, hang on, hang on, um, we can't do it. She's too complicated. It, it, it take more resources than we've got." And I did warn them last week that they should say about my compromised anatomy because you can see from all these extra veins that veins have had to find different ways round because of all the blockages. So now they're suggesting putting in another Hickman line but the haematologists don't want that. So it's like the right hand don't know what the left hand's doing and it, 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 the situation seems to be made worse because of COVID. And in the meantime, I've spent two weeks in this hospital room going stir crazy with no visitors um, and not able to get things moved on at a pace so I can get out of here. Anyway, I shall write down a bit more about my frustrations because I think that writing it out can be quite therapeutic and cathartic is my way of trying to get rid of some of it. So anyway, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, as my whiteboard says up there, once you choose hope, anything is possible. So let's keep hoping. Let's keep hoping for a cure for COVID, a vaccine for COVID. Let's hope that our relatives and our loved ones keep safe. And let's hope that we all get the chance to just celebrate the people that we know and love. Anyway. Take care, everyone. God bless.